Hi everyone, welcome back to The Chosen One by Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for your support. Today I want to pray for everyone. Today's prayer is, God touch our vehicles. Allow your angels to protect us from all accidents. Let's pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, Father, for waking us up. We thank you, Father, for life, health, and strength. Lord God, today we ask, Father, that you protect us, that you keep us in your will. Lord God, we ask, Father, that you cancel every excitement that the devil is trying to put on our life. The devil is trying to kill us, destroy us, Father. We ask, Father, that you just have your angels around us everywhere we go, Father. We ask, Father, that you touch our health, our finances, our living situation. We ask, Father, that you touch our merge. In the name of Jesus, touch our children. Lord God, you say when two or three are together in the midst, you will be with us, Father. Help us, Father, to praise you. Help us, Father, to put you first. Lord God, we need you to restore our family. We need you, Father, to restore marriages. We need you, Father, to do what you need to do, Lord God. Help us, Father, to stop sinning. Help us, Father, to stop moving backwards. We ask, Father, that your will will be done in our life, Father. Help us, Father, to stop going backwards, but to move forward and to see what you have for us in the future. In the name of Jesus, we ask, Father, that you shine through us, Father. We ask, Father, that you make us over. We ask, Father, that you help us, Father, to be the light in this dark world. Help us, Father, to tell our story, our testimony to someone, to save someone else's life. Lord God, we ask Father, that you do whatever you need to do with us, Father. Make us the head and not the tail. Make us above and not beneath. Lord God, help us, Father, to have your power in us, Father. Help us, Father, to be strong. Help us, Father, to be brave. Lord God, give us the strength that we need, Father, to keep going. Help us, Father, to never give up, but to keep going through all things, Lord God. Give us the strength that we need. In the name of Jesus, touch our finances, Lord God. You know where we lack that, Father. You know where we need you at the most, Lord God. Help us, Father, to love our family. Help us, Father, to restore it. In the name of Jesus, whatever we're doing that is lacking in our marriage, Father. Help us, Father, to pick it up. In the name of Jesus, we ask, Father, that you just touch our health. Lord God, I ask, Father, that you touch everyone's digestive system, Lord God. Help us, Father, to breathe. Help us, Father, to just eat correctly, Lord God. Help us, Father, to eat clean. Lord God, some of us are struggling with our weight. Help us, Father, to lose some weight that we're struggling with for years, Lord God. Baby weight, you know, just weight that is on our body, Lord God, because of depression or negative thinking, Lord God. I ask, Father, that you restore our health, Lord God. Anything that we're eating, Father, that is not right, Lord God, make it, you know, out of our will, Lord God. Help us, Father, to eat healthy, more fruits, more vegetables, more greens, Lord God. Help us, Father, to clean out our body. Lord God, I ask, Father, that you do whatever you need to do with us, Father. Make us the head, not the tail. Make us above and not beneath. Lord God, let your power be done in us, Father. Continue to bless us and keep us, Lord God. We need you, Father, like never before. Please restore us and make us over again. We ask, Father, that you do whatever you need to do with us, Father. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, help us, Father, to go back to school, college. Lord God, help us, Father, to go after our goals, our dreams, Lord God, because we have a purpose. Lord God, you have called us and we are chosen, Father. You have called us in our sleep. You have called us, Father, to do what you want us to do, Father. We are on a mission for you, Father. We thank you and we praise you, Lord God. Help us, Father, to be seen, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Allow your helpers, Father, to help us, Father, in the name of Jesus, to protect us and keep us, Lord God. Help them, Father. As they are helping us, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, bless everyone and keep them, Father. Lord God, I ask, Father, that your will will be done, Lord God. Anyone that desires to be married, Lord God, I ask, Father, that you help them to get married, Father, the right way, Father. Help them, Father, to keep themselves for their husband, their wife, Lord God. Help them, Father, to understand that nothing is wrong with waiting. Nothing is wrong with, you know, waiting for the wrong the, the wrong. The right person, the right person. We ask that you help us, Father, to wait for the right person, not the wrong person, Lord God. We ask, Father, that you remove the wrong person out of our way, Lord God. We ask, Father, that you do whatever you need to do in us, Father. In the name of Jesus, Lord God. Even though the wrong person want to sneak up, we rebuke that in the name of Jesus, Lord God. We ask, Father, that we wait to give our body to our spouse. In the name of Jesus, we ask, Father, that you remove that wrong person out of our circle. And we ask, Father, that you help us, Father, to wait for the right person. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. God bless you all. 
May God be with you. In Jesus' mighty name, God is protecting you. God know where to point at in prayer. <laughs> he know where to point at in prayer. But I thank God for correcting my words. God is good. You know, God want us to be with the right person. He don't want us to be with the wrong person. So some of y'all, the Lord is saying, some of y'all is with wrong people in your life. So you need to, you need to break up with them. You need to stop talking to these wrong people because they are holding you up from receiving the blessing. Listen to me, some of y'all are supposed to be married, but you're not married because you're still dating the wrong person. When you get rid of the wrong people, God can desire what you want and what you need. I love you all. Have a great, beautiful day. Keep your head up, be strong, and know that God has so much in store for you. God know what to point out. He know what to point out in prayer. But some of you are with the wrong people. Let them go. And don't be afraid to let them go. It's time for you to move forward. God have a plan for you. And he have a future for you. God bless you. Be encouraged. Stay blessed. Don't give up. But pray about all things. God bless you. Take care.